Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to split your sales navigator searches when they get over 2,500 results. So basically the reason why you can extract more than 2,500 results on sales navigator is simply that LinkedIn only displays 100 pages of 25 results. So if you get more results than that, you won't be able to extract the leads after this limit. You can see here that I have 6,500 results but I got only 100 pages of 25 results, so I can see the leads after this limit. Even if I click next here, you can see that I'm still on the same page. So when you are in this situation, you may be tempted to use the company headcount filter to split your search. But actually, this is not a good practice because if you do that, you're gonna lose people. So here I got 6,500 results, and if I click on the whole, the company headcount filters here, you're gonna see that I have only 5,500 results left. The reason behind that is that um, company headcount are linked to um, the companies you have worked in and the job experience you have created on your profile. But some job experiences are not linked to um, any company page. So for example, if I check um, Dan's profile here, you can see that some of its experiences are linked to a company page. So if I click here, I go to the company page and I get access to the number of employees. But some people like work for companies that don't have LinkedIn pages. And you can see that by uh, the, the gray logo here. So um, basically, if you use the, um, the company headcount filter, you're gonna delete all the people that have not linked the job experience to a company page. And so you will lose the potential leads. Lesson here, don't use the company headcount filter to split your searches or you're gonna lose potential targets. So the proper way to split your searches is to use one, the seniority level filter, the function filter, or the industry filter. So here I got 6,500 results. Um, and if I go on seniority level here, first thing is you can see that is there is more uh, results than um, displayed here. So, for example, here you got entry 5,000, senior 2,000. So this makes 7,000 and I got only 6,500 results. So this happens because um, one profile can have several seniority level attached to it because actually seniority levels are attached to your job experiences. And if you have several uh, experiences at the same time, like Anas, for example, like, you know, like you have several experience with present here. So you got like uh, several current experiences. You are gonna have one seniority level attached to each experience. So don't be surprised by this. We're gonna split the search with this filter anyway. So here, for example, I'm gonna select a few categories to reach like a number under 2,500, so here I'm good. So I could like copy paste this URL and put it in a Google sheet like that and name it like uh, search one, anything you want. Um, once I have that, I want to extract senior and entry, but remember that people have several seniority levels. So if you don't exclude the seniority level you've just extracted, you're gonna extract duplicates. So before adding senior here, I'm gonna exclude all the filters, all the seniority levels that I have already extracted. And you're gonna see that the number here has, has been divided by two because 1000 people was senior and another seniority level. So here I can select senior, 1000 results, copy paste the URL, and this make a second search to extract. Once again, I exclude senior, and you're gonna see that the number of entry will reduce. Then I can select entry, but sometimes, even if you use seniority level filter, you're gonna have more than 2,500 results. So that's why I said in the beginning of this video that you can use the function filter and the industry filter as well. Because here, for example, I can go to function and see if I can split um, this search again. So here, I'm not lucky. I've I've taken the, the worst case scenario because even with a function filter, I don't get an easy way to split this. So here marketing still give me uh, 3000 results. So 
I can't use it, but I'm able to use the industry filter, for example. Here, I got like marketing and advertising 1K results. So what I'm gonna do is simply use one filter to split this search. I'm gonna make one search where I select marketing and advertising. So 1000 results. Copy paste the URL here. Okay, search three. And then I just need to exclude this industry to get all the people that wasn't in my previous search. So here I got 1000, all the people that are in marketing and advertising industry. And if I exclude it, I get all the other people that are all in all the other industry. So I get the whole picture here. So again, here, copy paste. Okay, so now you got four URLs to extract and you can go back to them and extract them one by one with a tool like Everboot, for example. That's how you split a sales navigator search, guys. If you want to know more about sales navigator, how to use it to generate leads and to make proper searches, make sure to check the video just right there. I wish you a great day and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.